Hi everyone, in this video we're going to figure out which is the domain and range for sine minus 1 of x. So in order to grasp better, better this idea, I'm going to graph the sine of x. So in these cases when we are trying to make the inverse like is sine minus 1 of sine. So you limit the, the domain from minus pi over 2 until uh, p over 2. So the first one is going to be pi over minus 2. Okay, so this one is if you compute, this is the remember pi, the value is 180. So this one is going to be minus 90 degrees. So the value is going to be minus 1. Okay, so why we limit from pi over 2 to pi over 2? Because if you figure out the maximum of the of the function sine is going to be 1 and the minimum the, the minimum is going to be minus 1. Okay, so this one is going to represent all of the va of the values of this function which this function is a periodic function so it repeats okay so in this case we have minus 1 for pi over 3 which means minus 60 degrees is going to be minus square root of 3 over 2 the other the other one is minus uh, pi over 6 which is going to be minus 1 over 2 and the sine of 0 is 0 okay after we continue it's like a, a mirror so this one is going to be just the same for the other cases okay and we can put the function so if you notice the domain is limited from minus pi over 2 until uh, pi over 2 and the range is going to be from minus 1 on to 1 so if you figure out that they are like square parentheses because it, it means that you include so I include 1 and I include minus 1 as well so why I graph this one because if we graph sine minus 1 is going to be like a mirror so in this case if you see here we have the degrees okay so because we change this one is going to be our um, it's going to be the degrees, they're going to be the y-axis, the vertical axis and the this one which was the the vertical axis is going to be the horizontal one so this one minus 1, so who? what was the value of minus 1? it was minus pi 2 what was the value of, the value of minus square root 3 uh, over 2? it was minus pi over 3 and this one minus 1 over 2 it was minus pi over 6 and this one is going to be the same okay so now you figure out that the domain is going to be minus 1 from minus 1 to 1 and the range is going to be from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 so if you see the domain of the sign is going to be the range <coughs> of the sign minus 1 and the range is going to be the domain okay so that's all for this video i hope it has worth have a great success with mathematics see you in the next video bye bye